Welcome to another shootout between Funcube dongle and a DVBT stick. Uh, what I'm trying now is rather hardcore. It's receiving uh, satellite signals from geostationary military satellites but using an omnidirectional antenna and no preamp. Uh, just a vertical ham radio antenna dual band for 2 meters, 70 centimeter, about 15 meters of coaxial cable down from the roof, uh, just straight into the fun cube dongle, no preamp on the roof, no directional antenna to the geostationary satellite, nothing. Just a simple antenna, non-resonant on the frequency and a fun cube dongle, that's it. And I'm going to compare that with a DVB-T stick. So what we get here is a, a so-called Fleet Satcom satellite on UHF frequencies. You can see here I'm currently receiving a beacon signal. It's a 1200 volt BPSK signal. It's on a 250.550 megahertz downlink. And we can see here that the signal to noise ratio is approximately well, I would say roughly over 10 dB. So you see the noise is peaking around 100 and the signal is peaking around the, the 90, uh, minus 90 line. So it's a, a difference of about 10 dB. And uh, there is some uh, other stuff to receive here as well. The only disadvantage is that with the fun cube dongle, since you are only seeing 100 kilohertz at a, at a time, it's very easy to miss something. But luckily, I know where to have where I have to tune in. So around 244.2 uh, uh, megahertz, you will see funny signals like this. And uh, these are narrowband transponders, six kilohertz wide each. You see one of these transponders here is even uh, carrying a data signal. You see the data bursts and you hear it. Uh, well, we see that these uh, transponders uh, have a noise of approximately 5 dB, maybe a bit more, maybe uh, 7 dB, 8 dB over the noise. And these data bursts are peaking uh, probably 15 dB over the noise. Let's see. Yeah, roughly 15 dB over the noise. And uh, that's what you get with the fun cube dongle. We can also tune further down. Uh, we see some wider band signals there. You see some noise stripes there, which are much wider and also weaker. So let's see if we can see uh, this signal as well. And if we tune further down, they disappear. So below 243.900, there is nothing. But there is another funny signal down here around 800, which is a, a lot of, uh, yeah, it's like a MFSK signal. And this signal is peaking uh, probably 5, well, up to 10 dB. Not, not 10 dB, but uh, between 5 and 10. So let's see what the DVB-T is doing. And we have also the famous uh, pirates from Brazil. If we tune a little bit uh, further up. And uh, they should be here. Yeah, here they are, as usual. And... Uh, and the pirates uh, should be peaking much higher. I hope they will start a transmission. It's at 95. Well, there is no activity right now. But let's go to some uh, pre-recorded, some pre-recorded uh, IQ files. So we have uh, first of all the uh, file I explained before the oh sorry the beacon which is it should be one of these signals no it's actually this signal here but in order to uh, 
to see the signal to noise ratio we have to zoom in since we are seeing 1 MHz bandwidth. Now we have roughly the same as on the FunCube dongle before. I get some audio dropouts due to high CPU load. And I'm going to... Uh, but what we see here is uh, approximately uh, 10 dB signal to noise ratio, a little bit uh, higher even. So exactly the same as uh, on the FunCube dongle before, yeah. 10 dB SNR. Um, we can also preload the other signal I have uh, shown you before on the FunCube dongle, which is this uh, funny uh, transponder noise bands. And if we play this, it looks like this. Uh, actually, I'm wondering... Ah, okay, because I'm still uh, zoomed out, so I'm zooming, uh, zoomed in, and I'm zooming out, and here we are. These are the funny signals you were seeing on the FunCube dongle before, and these were the other ones I showed you in the uh, afterwards. And if we are going to zoom in uh, into one of those, we can compare signal strength with the FunCube dongle. You see. This looks very similar as on the FunCube dongle before. And the data signal is also there. And we can compare this. I would say it's very similar to the FunCube dongle um, signal strength. Very similar to the FunCube dongle signal strength indeed. And uh, last but not least, I'm going to uh, show you the uh, pirates we have seen before, which were not active. But uh, luckily on this recording they are active. It's on this frequency here. And we can try to zoom in a little bit. Yeah, sorry for the audio dropouts, but it's a very strong signal here, peaking uh, around minus 70, which is a very good signal. So you see, this was the shootout between FunCube dongle and uh, DVB-T stick, and as you can see, signal strengths are very comparable and uh, the only difference is in principle that you see uh, 1 to 3 megahertz bandwidth on the DVB-T stick whereas the FunCube dongle only allows 100 kilohertz and um, yeah that's it folks I hope uh, this um, comparison was educational it was getting a little bit longer than I thought but uh, I hope you enjoyed the demonstration.